Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat Mobile Towers video. Guys, we are finally here. Match number 200 in the Cold War Tower. The grand finale. Let's take those guys on. Now opening the match here with Liu Kang against Cold War Sub-Zero. We directly apply a combo ender here and try to get him up to a special 2 as fast as possible. The first one will not deal much damage due to the ice field but now we break that and the nice thing here is that Sub-Zero can be stunned obviously or it seems at least that it's quite easy. But unfortunately, he escaped already and Sonya is attacking us here and she just gained the shield from her special one thanks to Scarlet's passive. That is a bad start for us. But let's just use Scoundrel's Cybernetic Heart and go for a special 2 loop here. Crushing blow against Sonya Blade. Now her shield is already uh, gone and also the one from Scarlet is gone so we can now apply the regular damage and just keep her a little bit in that loop and we just go for the next crushing blow 100% here we go and Sonya doesn't really take that much damage here and now a special one to keep her snared tag to Liu Kang interrupting her and special two connects combo ender by Lu. Unfortunately we didn't break the block but now we interrupt Sonya just again. Special 2 connected nicely and now we go for the next combo ender leading into special 1 dealing some good damage and hopefully taking out Sonya very very soon. Actually best would be to get her out first because this way the other ones will no longer have the ice shield to begin with. Now we already applied a combo ender and a few special one attacks here with Scorpion just to keep her in that damage loop. If going back to Jade we can apply another special two and then follow that up with the next snare in case she doesn't resist that. Now we have a beautiful stun here so let's go for the special one and then tag back to Liu Kang and interrupting her again with a special two. And we have 22 seconds left on the timer. Unfortunately, we have been frozen here. Now we go for the next special two and the tag two Scorpion. Let's see if we can get the brutality in. Yes, Cold War Sonya Blade is out of this match. And we just did it in time during the first match here. So for the next one, we don't have to deal with her anymore. Alright, then here goes the second attempt, this time without Ice Shield, since Sonya Blade is already out. We didn't break the block here, but now we retaliate against Cold War Sub-Zero. And here we get a combo ender in and the special two. And once again the tag to Jade. 
I really feel that the stun duration on Cold War Sub-Zero is so short, we don't even have enough time to get her into a combo uh, to lead into the snare of her special one. Something is really off here with Sub-Zero, but here a special to connect against Cold War Sub-Zero. And here we can go for the next one, let's just deal some damage and keep him in that loop as long as we can. And here we break the block just on the last hit, that is nice, and the next special two connects again. Once again we apply a few basic hits, ah, and he interrupts us in the middle of our combos and deals massive damage. But here, he, uh, my, my uh, Liu Kang is saved by Scorpion, the special one connects. And here we can go now for the next loop. And back to Jade. And we can apply the special one now. And he is snared again. So that he will not escape us here. At least not yet. And once again we are frozen. This Arctic Wind modifier is quite annoying. But there is nothing we can do about it. So another snare here. And Sub-Zero now can deal again with my strike for scorpion combo ender by scorp and here comes the special one and directly the tag back to Liu Kang special two coming up and once again we are frozen by this arctic wind and Liu Kang is out of the match but we can snare sub-zero here with jade and combo ender by jade once more. Now we got her up to a special two. Let's apply that one. Deal some damage here. Crushing blow. And once again, Arctic Wind. Annoying as hell. And the special one. But we are out of time. Here we at least get some extra damage boost for Sub-Zero characters. I will take that. And on to attempt number three. And as you guys saw, we already dealt some good damage to Sub-Zero. He is basically ready to be taken out. Let's just go for the special two and apply the stun. Here we go, special two. And now directly the attack to Scorpion. Scorpion is my only character here who has uh, the brutality equipment. And let's go for a special one so that he will stay in the match. And uh, again, Arctic Wind and Cold War Scarlet uses that opportunity. Luckily, we were saved by the shield. And now we can just tag to Liu Kang and do the special two thing again. And once again, Arctic Wind. Are you kidding me? And now we're saved by the living dead armor. Now a special one follows. We don't have any health anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, and he took out Scorpion. Then let's see if we can take him at least out with Liu Kang. Come on, special two. Ah, almost. And of course he escapes. Special 2 now against Cold War Scarlet, who just showed up in the match for some weird reason. And here we go again, Special 2. And another one. Our 
protective winds. Now we are on the Revenant shield. So we were resisting that special one of Sub-Zero and to answer with a special two. He didn't get taken out by that one, but now the special two of Jade should do the trick so that we at least can get rid of Sub-Zero. Crushing blow again and Sub-Zero is out. Beautiful. Okay, and now we have Scoundrel Cybernetic Heart and we are saved by the Revenant Shield. Wake up, Jade. Come on, wake up. Oh, just in time. And now we can just use some special tools. Crushing blow against Scarlet. Next special two coming up. And here again the crushing blow, yes. We can apply a third one. We have four seconds left on the timer. Okay, that's the final one. Let's go for the next attempt. Alright, here we go, the final boss in match number 200 is up, Cold War Scarlet, and she just applied a few basic hits and removed basically half my health bar. Okay, once again, and <laughs> now we're already almost dead, but we at least get the special 2 in here. Let's see if we can get another one. Yes, that works. At least when I'm not having any health, she cannot reflect damage back because it doesn't matter at all. This Arctic Wind is the only problem, otherwise we could probably do this forever and just take her down step by step. But every now and then we are frozen by this annoying thing. And now special one by Scorpion and tag to Jade. And we go for the special two, including Crushing Blow. Chipping away her health bar. Now pretty soon she should have that shield up due to her passive. Let's see how much she needs to get there. Ah, here it is already in cold blood. Now she has 30% health left. We apply a special to and just broke her block. Let's get another one in. It's now just to get her a little lowered so that the brutality will definitely connect. And here is Scorpion for the brutality. And the first attempt already worked. Brutality executed, Cold War Scarlet down, match number 200 in the Cold War Tower defeated. Let's have a look at the rewards. Okay, so here we get a fusion for Missile Gap. And if we don't get a fusion for Cold War Scarlet, it will be a sellback because all the others are maxed. Yep, it's Sonya Blade, so nothing that we find useful here. But yeah, that was the end of the Cold War Tower and also now the end of this video. I think in terms of Cold War Tower videos, we are good. We have made a lot of stuff here on this channel. Uh, there is so much that we have covered in terms of matches, boss fights and a few in between. And to be honest, by now I'm quite tired of the Cold War Tower topic because we just had enough of that.
Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just $1 a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over now for today.